Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, let's talk a little bit. So let's talk about about seasons and about life, really, about life and about how how this journey of of competition, of growth, of becoming the best version of you, how it how it happens, and what it means. And and you and I are the same, right? That's why we relate. Because I get it, right? The pain of a season being over is only felt by so many people on this earth, right? You're a special breed, right? It takes a special person to give up himself or give up herself to something so great that when it comes to an end, it hurts. And make no mistake about it, guys, it's supposed to hurt. It should hurt. When you give up yourself fully, when you honor the journey, when you sweat and you bleed and you push and you have frustrations and you have triumph and you have tragedy, when it's all over, it hurts, right? But I always use analogies and I love the analogy of, of being a warrior, right? One of my favorite movies is, is 300, right? I, I have workouts that I call Leonidas. I relate with Leonidas. Right? You and I are warriors. Right? And if you envision for a minute, if you envision for a minute how it used to be, right? There was a village. And in that village, there were men, women, and children. And of those men, women, and children, only a few of them were tasked with the job of hunting. Were given the role of defending that village. Of going out and securing new frontiers, new land, of defending against other villages, against other armies. Only a few could do that, right? And those guys went to battle, they went to war for their village, for their home, for their family, for their team. But not everybody went, right? Not, not even all the men went. So there's nothing wrong with being a man in that, in that scenario, in that metaphor, who stays behind. Somebody has to watch the village. Somebody, there's some men who weren't able, who were too old or weren't able-bodied enough to go out and defend and fight for honor and protection. Right? So they stayed behind. Right? But only the warriors who went out there and sacrificed and risked their lives. Only they were met with adoration and celebration, right? Only the warriors who came back from the hunt, from the battle, from the fight, only they are met with adoration. Only they get trophies. Only they get statues. Only they get banners. But there's a risk with that. There's a risk to being a Navy SEAL. There's a risk to being a Green Beret. There's a risk to being Leonidas. There's a risk in our lives. And so when you risk greatness, there is the chance of heartbreak. There is the chance of defeat. But I ask you, and I always ask myself, is it worth it? Is the pain of defeat, is the pain of a drop touchdown, is the pain of a missed basket, is the pain of a failed test, is the pain of her saying no, is the pain of that happening, is it worth it? And the answer is yes. Because you cannot put a price on what it feels like to win a ball game, to win a championship, to be great. You can't put a price on it and not everybody, not everybody is willing to risk it is willing to put their ass on the line to be great. To risk embarrassment, to risk pain, to risk sadness, to risk overcoming that inevitable that will happen upon every great journey. Only we risk it. And so, yes, I know you guys, when the season's over, it's painful. It's an abrupt end to what 
for many of you was a long journey with friends, with brothers. But it must go on. There will be a new season. If not in this sport, there will be a new season for you in your life. You see, our whole life is built upon seasons. And most people stop doing that. That's why they stop growing and stop getting great and stop accomplishing things in their life because they fail to recognize that every few moments, every few weeks, every few months, every few years is a season that should springboard you to something if you recognize it. 